Hello everybody, this is my day off at last. I've been so busy this morning, I thought I could have a ride this afternoon, but it's getting a bit late. Um, it's about 4.20 at the moment, which means I've got to get the tea on. Uh, yeah, I, um, I may have never explained this one before. In England, oh come on mate, I know you've got to make your tea too, but everyone's going to do it. Um, at 4.30 the country has to shut down basically for about 15 minutes for everyone to have a cup of tea and uh, something to eat. So, <laughs> I've got to be quick. Obviously I don't want to miss tea time and get in trouble, so I should do it. Don't want to overfill the thing. Okay. These um you can't just use any teapots for these, you've got to use the right ones obviously, made for the job. Okay, so we've got our water, so we just have to wire this on. Obviously this isn't an ideal method, but it's my preferred method. Alright, so here we go, we've got the water on for the tea. Put the crumpets in. They fit nicely there, so that'd be nice and warm and toasty. Obviously, uh, everyone in England has to carry this stuff because it is illegal not to have tea at 4.30. If you're caught not having tea at 4.30, it's not actually a thing you get put in prison for, but it, you get frowned, you get people looking at you funny looks and you get frowned upon, so. Right, let's warm this water up. Oh, come on, you've got five minutes to get home and have your tea. We cannot stand for this. Yeah, now, how many crumpets doing? Yeah, crumpets are good. Water's warming up. It's going to be a lovely tea. There's nothing quite like it. Oh, I don't feel right if I don't get my tea at 4.30, even though it is the law. It, it's become this thing that you just, you know, you just have to do it. Right, okay. I reckon that should have done it. Let's go and find somewhere nice to sit. Yeah, the uh, as I say, this tradition in England, it might seem stupid to uh, so many other countries in the world, but it, it's a relaxed tradition. It means that everyone has that one time in the day that no one can take it away from them. Everyone, from the Queen, to someone who empties the bins, to a surgeon, currently doing a triple heart bypass. They will stop for tea. The uh, patient on the table obviously gets an intravenous drip of tea. Uh, the only thing with that is you can't have sugar. Uh, it clogs the needles up apparently. But uh, otherwise, yeah, they get their tea. Is this is like a nice spot. Looks like a lovely spot, doesn't it? That would be perfect for me. Absolutely perfect. Okay, um, normally I just unwind this, but for speed on this occasion, I'm just going to cut the uh, wires. There we go. Oh, fuck, yeah, that's hot. Let's have a look. How are we doing? Yeah, we bored a bit away. Yes. Good old English tea would not be right without a flying Union Jack, obviously. So we've got boiling water, tea strainer. They make these nice uh, individually wrapped packets of tea leaves these days. Great idea. <sighs> Plate for the uh, the crumpets over there because obviously I want those to be nice and warm for when I eat them. Butter knife. Some butter. We've got sugar. Obviously we need milk. Uh, you can just store that in that in your bag. It's fine. It's not a problem. What are we missing? Oh yeah. Lest you not forget, a lovely English teacup. Do we have everything? I think we do. Right. Okay. Okay, so how do you make English tea? This is not as simple as it looks. Tea strainer. One of these, as I say, one of these individually wrapped packets of tea leaves. You just tear the top. Oh, don't lose any. Top off of that. Pour that in there. Oh, they're degradable. Uh, then you pour your water over. Now, you must put water in first. Mustn't, must not put fucking milk in first, bloody Scots. Oh, we'll let that go for a little bit. Obviously, um, the only thing about these individually wrapped packets that I've found is that the tea's much finer, so it tends to sort of go through, but it's okay, we can, we can deal with that. Um, sugar. Now, obviously, you must do it in this order. If you notice, I've left the crumpets over there because I don't want those to go cold. Uh, just one sugar for me, that's good. Okay. Get rid of our tea leaves. Okay. So, 
Now, obviously, I don't have a spoon to stir this. It's ridiculous. You wouldn't bring a spoon with you. You can use this. Why would you bring unnecessary equipment with you? It's ridiculous. Okay, so stir it up, stir it up. Get the milk in there. That's an English cup of tea. Nice. Okay, we'll leave that in there. Crumpets. Perfect. These look like they're going to be absolutely perfect. Hello, people. Okay, so... Open our packet. See what we got. Lovely warm toasted crumpet. Actually, I'll save that one there in the warm. Some butter. Spread that on. Fucking delicious. Just in time for four thirty tea. Oh, um, I've never got the hang of this bit. Mmm. Mm. Ah, lovely. Let's fold that over and uh, 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 uh. Mm. Oh man, them crumpets. Crumpets are fucking delicious, I'm telling you. Crumpet? No. Mmm. It's things like this that make England great. You only need a few bits to bring with you. You've got your tea. Oh, spill a bit. Crumpets. Motorcycle. Have some friends. They're going to come over in a minute. Cheers! There you go. So that is how you have English tea. You obviously put all your bits back in your bag. It's not like it's that much to carry. See, this is why we drink tea at 4.30. Then it starts raining. But we're prepared for it. It's nothing like it. It's good to be English. Catch you next time. Good tea! Yeah, the, the reason why he's into, sorry, into peanut butter as much as that, I didn't realise this, is because he likes to smother it on his balls and have the dog lick it off. I mean, why else do you think the fucking dog's called Jake? So he can shout his own name while he's licking his balls.